mindset as far as uh, in, in the huddle saying that you all can come back? Uh, it's just we've been there before, you know, knowing that the way we shoot the ball and the, and the facilitators we have and James and CP, just, you know, we always in a game regardless of how much we're down or, or how bad it's looking. Coach D'Antoni talked highly of you in his press conference saying that um, the way you got going and hopefully he said you can you know, bottle that up and use it for a couple more games. How do you feel about that? Uh, you know, just <clears throat> from, my, from my standpoint, just staying ready. You know, just you know, staying consistent, staying keeping the rhythm. You know, John Lucas every day, and you know, just you know, times you get hard, you know, not playing for a while, but if times like this, you can get to go out there and prove why you should be playing, and just try to be professional about it. How how early did you know you're going to start tonight? I'm gonna find the court tip off. <laughs> Come in, I do my my usual stretch. Training room, go to the weight room. I'm coming back through to go through the kitchen to go to come back in here. And coach, he's always cracking jokes when he comes by and says, Hey, be ready to start tonight. Be ready to play, you start tonight. And he's joking. I'm like, oh, all right, coach. Just thinking he's messing around. And the next person comes, John Lucas. He's like, Did he talk to you? I was like, Yeah, but he was just joking around, I guess. He was like, You're starting tonight. I was like, Oh, okay. All right, cool. I got you. So I came in here and watched a little film just to be prepared a little bit. But, you know, it just goes to show with this team, it's just anything can happen any night. So just be ready. I got such good veterans around me from Austin to PJ, EG, just constantly talking to me, trying to get me prepared in the best way that they can. What was it like playing against D-Wade his last time here in Houston? Oh, it was cool because, you know, you grew up watching D-Wade, and I knew as soon as I, he came in and I got back in, it was like, you got D-Wade, just stay down on the shot face. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, but I, I know his footwork's crazy, shot face, and all that stuff around the basket. And, and then, sure enough, first boom, boom, bucket, bucket. So, just you know, it was unique. But it was, you know, to be against, play against him his last game in Houston it was cool. Y'all on a four-game winning streak. How does that feel? Oh, it's huge. You know, for us, you know, we struggled all season with injuries and you know not closing our game. So for us to get this one tonight was, you know, it was huge. And, Keep this thing going, you know, guys, you know, I don't know when guys are coming back and how long guys will be out, but, you know, just staying ready and just as a unit, figuring it out and then <laughs> and just come out with a dub. Thank you, I appreciate it. No problem. You know, I've got to ask you about Cincinnati Bearcats, so have you been keeping up with them in conference play? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm like, it's crazy how proud I am of those guys, you know, putting it together and getting the dub. Like, it's the point one season we had is just get the dub no matter what. Coach is going to holler at screen, but the dub is better the next day in practice than the L. So for those guys to you know, be doing what they're doing just to get these dubs, man. I mean, I'm texting Coach Crono right now, and just I'm just so happy for them. And after they lost to the ECU, to see them how they've come back and bounce back and win a lot of games, what do you think about after they lost to ECU? Uh, those were one of those games that nobody likes to go. I love going home, but like I, I didn't like going to ECU because it was one of those games you just have to figure it out and come out with a dub because they're going to come out with nothing to lose and get up shots and play hard. And you're just like thinking, oh, it's ECU. You know, they they have been winning many games in the last couple of years, but they get they sneak someone every every year at home. We've got snug there once, SMU, uh, UConn. So everyone loses there once a year that doesn't supposed to lose there. Thanks, man. No problem.